Five days on the free, you ready to ride a with you? Where are you now? Has been too long. That my best friend, she a little back. Got her own money, she don't need no. All right, are we ready? Ha! <sighs> you can divert your mind. You can do this. Three, two, one. Action. Hello, hello. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Kangsha. Welcome to my channel. So, in a today's video, did you read the title? You read the title or not? We are trying new products and basically we're trying new foundation and concealers. So, we are going to rock that base today, hopefully, at a very inexpensive price. So, we have Inside Cosmetics high coverage uh, foundation and we have inside cosmetics uh, hd concealer as well so i wanted to try the foundation i was like might as well try the concealer together i have no idea how these are going to perform one of you guys asked me to re review this so here is the review this is my first impression slash wear test i'm going to wear it for the rest of the time whenever like you know i'm going to end this video what is the time now so the time is 9 15 it's 9 15 in the night i know you were like how are you going to do a wear test if you wear it at nine o'clock in the night but i'm actually going out so I have a long night ahead so i thought i'll do the wear test because i'm going to be up till six o'clock in the morning for sure so yes let's get started So I went ahead and bought two shades in the foundation. They totally have six shades, but I got two of them because I'm not sure which one matches. I'm like, it's just 220, so might as well get two. If I get the shade wrong, it'll ruin the entire video. Uh, so I got uh, MN30 and MN35. So MN35 is the last second shade they have, and they just have six shades. So if we swatch this, we'll kind of understand the shade range as well, but six shades is kind of less to start with uh, because i mean you cannot cover all the wide range of skin tones uh, we have in india with this brands have started improving a lot even lakme used to be like this but now they started launching like you know bigger uh, range of products even color bar for that matter like all of these people like heard and listened to feedback and started launching like at least you know 10 to 15 which is still better than you know four or five options i have mn30 and mn35 i'm going to swatch both of them so that you have a reference so this is how the tube looks it's a black tube a lot of uh, foundations have a similar uh, packaging but this is mn30 and it says from light to medium and medium skin with neutral undertone so let's just swatch and see so this is mn30 nowhere close to neutral you can see it's pretty warm uh, then we have mn35 it says for light to medium and medium skin with neutral undertone this also says neutral undertone and this seems to be a lot darker than this one see this is so warm this is at least i can still accept if you call this neutral but this is a lot warmer and both of them are definitely darker i i Usually like you know when there are four or five shades my shade is like the last second one so I went ahead and bought uh, um, last like I left one and I bought the other two like the previous two of the last one so both of them seem to be dark so probably like mine will be a, one more shade lighter than this but they said light to medium and medium so this is not like light to medium I'm in that mediums category so this is not light to medium for sure this is quite dark so I'll try to work with this I'm actually going out and it's going to be so bad for having the wrong foundation shade on but so I have a lot of breakouts and a lot of texture going on so this is kind of the right time to try the foundation as well because on good skin literally any product works you guys like if you have like flawless skin a lot of people do when they you know a lot of people do like products also because you know when you have normal skin like no texture no acne etc products most of them blend out very easily but when you have texture active acne scars etc that's when you actually know how a foundation really works so i have a lot of breakouts right now i'm actually quite afraid to put this foundation on my face because my face is already like breaking out i hate like putting on um, new base products especially when my face is already triggered 
but that's what we will do today so this side i'm directly going in with the foundation i'm going to apply a thin layer this side will apply primer so that we can actually see the difference between both i'm using the rufa beauty rb23 brush i'm just blending that away i already moisturized my face Let's just read the description of what the foundation uh, uh, says. It's with its super blendability, advanced blurring properties, natural dewy finish. Inside Cosmetics HD Foundation. They do not claim um, like a wear time. Like usually foundations have this oh, 24 hours wear, 72 hours wear. So it does not claim anything, which is um, okay because or else we would have tested the, that claim. Okay, so that is one side blended and quite a nice finish. So I've tried Inside Cosmetics a lot of different products before, but never like foundation. I tried that concealer, which the one which looked similar to the LA Girl one and it was like, okay, so I was not a big fan. But this foundation, you see the finish, it's very nice, like quite decent, dude. And the color is not that off. It is definitely a tad bit darker i thought it would be a little more warm to look at but once it blended out mn30 pretty close match right so on the left side i'm going to go in with my elf putty primer i just wanted to see how it fills the pores without a primer so here i'm just going to go ahead and apply this so that i get my pores filled Okay, I applied it with the sponge on the left and with the brush on the right. Applied beautifully both the sides as well. And even without the primer, I did a pretty good job on the right side with the primer. It's a little bit better, but without it also, it did like a really nice job. So far, so good, except for the shade. Um, I have no issues with everything. It's just a little bit warmer for me from what, what I'm used to. Like you can see definitely, like my chest is a lot lighter than my face i actually have a lot of like active breakouts here so um like you know i do have a little bit of dry skin here and there and it did not cling on to anything it did not get patchy or weird in any way and it like covered all the acne scars i have like in one go and i do not have to use a lot of product or make a lot of effort in one go it just like completely covered everything so we are off to a good start then next moving on to concealer this is the i think this is the new launch from inside cosmetics this is the inside cosmetics hd concealer and in the shade mn30 so mn30 on my face the foundation was uh, a little darker so i'm not sure how the concealer is going to uh, be again this also has six shades so yeah i'm just going to look warm i'm meeting my friend after like one year and they're going to think like what is wrong with this girl because this is like so damn dark like this concealer is not something i'm used to at all the cons like the shade i mean i'll just probably use some lighter powder underneath to you know make me look a little better than what i would with this color Coffee impressed it. Did you see how like easily it just like melted away into my skin like so damn easily? Like see this is a shade I usually would use to like if I'm like having a really bad like uh, dark under eye day or something I would use this to like color correct. The shade is that shade for me and over this I will go with like a lighter um, concealer but by itself like the way it blended out oh my god the previous concealer i tried from from inside i told like i told you i was not that impressed with but this one can you see here like a orange tint like when i say warm i mean that warm so usually when they have like the same range this is like also hd and this is hd right so they have the same shade range this is mn30 mn30 um so whenever that happens usually the concealer shade is like tad bit lighter than at least tad bit lighter or similar than the foundation shade because you know it kind of helps brighten up the under eye in a way but first time the concealer is a little darker than uh, the foundation uh, 
Which is a little weird. Like if you buy a combo, it would be really nice if you get like a lighter shade. Especially I'm not, when I say light, I do not mean very light, but not like this dark. You know, it's it's just something I'm talking about shades. It does not matter as long as it works well. I can pick an another shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm going to just do something very minimal because I have to keep this on for a really long time. I'm going to add a little probably a little lighter powder under the eye because I want to like balance it out. It looks a little too warm that will not affect the performance of the concealer though. One thing I forgot to mention is the concealer was kind of self-setting as well like even before I applied powder it did not crease at all. So this is the finished look. The makeup so far looks so good like the under eye crack the concealer i'm so much impressed until this point i'm really excited to see how long it's going to wear though so the wear test is going to help uh, that it is 10 7 so i'm going to easily keep it on for the next like six to seven hours so i will see you then this is the before oh my god can you guess what the time is i'm honestly so exhausted you guys it's um it's 6.21, I put this foundation on at 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock. So it's like 11, 12, so it's 8 hours in. I did not sleep the entire night. Just got back home, I was out the whole night. And I'm, this is the first time I'm actually seeing how the foundation wore the entire time because I did not get a chance to look at myself. And uh, I wore mask and all, so like, you know, this part a little bit has... Um, started coming off but that usually happens with most of the foundations but the still it kind of held up really well the, <gasps> the concealer didn't even crease a little bit you guys like did you see that before and i didn't even get oily and it was pretty hot it's already summer now so um, i went to the airport i was there outdoors for so long but nothing like it did not get oily at all so that's also a good thing so you can use it in the summer as well but this is the after you can see everything is still holding pretty well except for my upper lip i have used like the most inexpensive concealer to the most expensive concealer and there are very 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 few that do not crease even after eight hours maybe just like a handful and this being just 220 doing such an amazing job i think like everybody should try this one i love it and both of them are just 220 and 230 so that's like an amazing grab i feel like amazing deal amazing everything you can get at that price point i'm just a little tired you have to excuse me i'm trying to finish and wrap up um uh, this video because i did start it and i wanted to see i wanted you guys to see how it looks after almost like eight hours of wearing it uh so yeah those are my thoughts i know you guys are curious to know what i think about these products so that is that and this video's uh, shout out goes to neha bobde so thank you neha for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope it was useful and if you like the video then make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel and comment below what you want me to review next i will definitely love to do that for you guys and that's it i think i will see you guys in my next video.